Hey guys, this is Susan from Susan Stitching Haven. Um, today I'm going to show you some of my, or my couple of new releases I have in my shop at uh, Susan Stitching Haven on Etsy. Um, this is the first one. This is called Christmas. I stitched it on 32 count uh, even weave that I dyed myself. But you can do it on, um, uh, a good color would be Vintage Country Mocha. Sorry, I'm stumbling my words. Here's my first one. It is, obviously has interfacing on the back. Um, I made it into like a little long pillow. Um, the fabric I used on the back is Teresa Kogut's, uh, uh, Christmas fabric. I almost said Halloween. Oof. And I filled it with, a uh, Lizard Litter. And also polyfill. So. This pattern comes with two bonus patterns that are secret. So you'll have to purchase the pattern to see the other two. They're just as cute. And uh, I also included a pattern in, to make a, um, if you want to make a scissor fob. Which that's what we're going to be doing today after I show you my new releases. We're going to be making scissor fobs today. So... I did this one on a uh, sticky board. I wanted it flat because, uh, yeah, I just wanted it flat so I can put it in my little thing so it's not so bulky. And I used, obviously, the same fabric on the back. Uh, charms, I got these from uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, they come in a multi-pack, different shapes, Christmas shapes. And then the beads, um, you can get beads from, like, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Joann's. Um, I think I got these specifically from, um, I'm thinking it's Walmart. And then obviously you'll need like these little lobster claw clips. I think that's what they're called, lobster claws. So I do not have any extra ones, but I need to get me some to be honest. So, all right. And my other patterns that I released is some ornaments that I made. Um, this one is uh, Snowy Hugs, and this is Frosty Tree. These come together as a set. Um, I finished them on 3-inch wooden hoops that I uh, purchased from Amazon. Charms come from Amazon. Um, this little bows, they come from uh, Dollar Tree. Um, <clears throat> I laced it on, bat on the back. Um, in order for it to fit on the three inch hoops, you'll either have to use 16 count Ada or use um, 32 count linen or even weave. So there's my back. On the outer hoop, I uh, wrapped ribbon around it. So. Yep. And then I got jute, twine, whatever you want to call it. Yep, these are my two, and this is, I'll show you both the backings on this. I know I'm all up in your face, but I'm going to be uh, <laughs> showing you a tutorial. So, all right, these are my new patterns. You can check them out, like I said, in Susan Stitching Haven uh, in, on Etsy. So, my links to my shop and all that, like my social media is in down below. So, all right, first things first. So what are we making today? We are making these. Yes, they're Halloween. Yes, I know. This actually was a bracelet um, that I took apart to make these. So it doesn't have to be just beads you bought from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Joann's. It could be a bracelet that you saw at Walmart that's a seasonal bracelet. It could be earrings because a lot of times the earrings they use like little uh, little charms on them. I mean if you think they're cute go right ahead. So all right first things first um, you're going to need some needle nose. Uh, these are curved ones. They don't have to be curved ones. Like you just, you just, you're going to need two needle noses. Um, this just came in a set that I have. And also uh, the little curvature. This comes in the set with the jewelry making set. that You can get these sets from Walmart. I've seen them at Joann's. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can pretty much get them anywhere. 
you know what I mean? Not anywhere, but anywhere that sells hobby stuff. <laughs> All right. Second, you're going to need these little eye pins is what they're called. They got a little eye on the end, like a little loop. If you do not want to do the charm, if you don't want a charm hanging and dangling around at the bottom, you can also get like these little minor, I've had these forever guys, so they're like bent and everything else. But anyways, they've got like flat bottom, flat head pins. And these are about two inches long. So, all right. So with these, like let's say, like I said, like if you don't want the charm on the bottom, you can just take the bead, slide it on, and then it just does that. It has like the, and then when you stack the, you know, it doesn't have like the little loop at the bottom. It goes right in there. Now you got to make sure that if you're going to do something like this, you got to make sure like the holes are small on the beads, because if you get like big, huge bead holes, you know, it's going to, it's just going to slide right off. So just like that. All right. But we are going to be doing with the charms because I love charms. So, all right. First, you're going to get your little eye pin. Okay. And we are going to do, let's see. I want to do the witchy one. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to do two in here so I can show you. But um, obviously it's a little witch's hat. It's cute. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to slide it on. Now this is going to be the bottom. So make sure that you have it in. If you have a directional um, bead that you have it like facing. Because it's going to be like this. You know like the scissors are going to be up here. So all right. Slide the beads on. Slide whatever bead you got, whatever, you know, sequence. You can play around with it, um, you know, however you want to put in order. Colors, shapes, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, sorry, I'm trying to... got my beads in this little glass thing so they don't run away. There's my charm. It's like a little, little teeny wedge. All right. Where are my thingies? Come here. All right, these little things are like little like caps for your like, um, but they're a bead. You know, you just slide them on, but it makes the uh, bead look decorative. I like it. They got them in all different colors, different kind of designs and all that. And you just put one on the bottom and you can put one on the top as long as I can find one. There we go. Just like that. It makes the bead look nice. And then I've got enough room up here, so I'm going to add one more bead. Bum, bum, bum. Right? Just like that. All right. So you're in the th at this stage. It's all on there. Now, the next stage, what you need to do is you need to make sure you hold in your one hand you know I'm I'm right-handed so if you're left-handed hold it in your right and you're gonna get this little uh, loopy tool I don't I don't even know which rounding tool and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go at the top of this pen you're gonna pinch it and then you're gonna you're gonna roll it so when you roll it it makes a little hoop or a little hook see how it's got a hook all right, hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> and you're going to take it, put it back in that loop or that hook, and then you're going to go the opposite way, just a little bit, not very much. And see, it's going to make that little, like, little, little curvature. And then you're going to come back in here because we got to close it. So you got to just kind of keep going this way and then go back in and turn it the opposite. Oh, I hope I'm on frame. I'm sorry. Here we go. I'll show you what I did. So pretty much you turn this like that to get it to close. And then you put it back in on this side and then you go back and straighten it up. So it's straight. 
you know, I have to kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, yeah. All right. There is that. Now we are going, this is where you would put like the little lobster claw little thing. I think that's what they're called. Like this little, this is what I'm trying to say. Little hook. All right. Um, first you're going to need, um, some little, uh, rings. They're like little, I don't even know what you call them. Little rings that you, yeah. This is not the actual packaging for these. I just, I save these little containers to put stuff in. So, all right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this little ring and it's got a little teeny tiny slit in it. Okay. And you're going to take it and you're going to open it up just like that. If it's a thick one, you're going to have to use both pliers to open it. But if you can get it with your hands, go right ahead. And you don't have to have steady hands. My hands always shake all the time. So, but then you're going to take this little ring and you're going to slip it right through that eye that you just created. And then you're going to close it up. Now, if you want to put a, one of these lobster claws in, all you'd have to do is just slip that on there and then just close it. So. All right. There is that. Like I said, I'm no, I'm not a professional or anything like that. I just kind of like doing all kinds of different kinds of hobbies. So, but all right, now we're going to put on our little charm, which is going to be at the bottom. These have really thick rings on the bottom. I don't know where they got them from. Cause like I said, this was a bracelet that I got from, um, one of my local jewelry shops. They were selling them during Halloween. You're going to have to hold it with one needle nose plier. And you're going to come in. You're going to grab the other side. Make sure you got a good hold on it. And then you're going to open it up just like that. It's going to be open. And then once again, you're going to slide it through this bottom eye. Just like that. And then you're going to close it up and hopefully don't fling it across the room like I have in the past because I'm pretty good about throwing things, you know, when I'm working. <laughs> All right. And there it is, the little witch. I'm going to do one more to show you again. But there you go. There's that. And like I said, you could hang the little, little lobster claw blow it and then you got your own little little scissor fobs they're so cute obviously i won't be using these until next year because halloween's over with but hey halloween is every day right i love halloween it's like actually one of my favorite holidays all right i'm going to show you this again okay eye pin we're going to take our little beads. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I've got a little scarecrow on a pumpkin. Let's see. What do I want to use with him? Uh, I think we're going to use that little bead because I got two pumpkin ones. So, all right. So first things and hold it, slip the bead on. Just like that. And I'm going to need that in a second, so I'm going to set that to the side. Get my little silver bead. Slide it on. The little bead caps. I don't know what they're called. I'm just calling them bead caps because that's, you know, it looks like a little hat for your beads. <laughs> Trying to stay in focus here. All right. And then you put this little dude on. And hold on, that's another charm. I can make, I, technically I can make one more if I wanted. I mean, this like bracelet, bracelet was perfect. Like I have like same amount of beads for each charm. So there we go. 
honestly, I need to go to Walmart and see what kind of like Christmas bracelets and stuff they got and like their earrings. Cause like I said, the earrings, they have like little charms on them and they also have like, you know, you can get bracelets with beads on it for the holidays and they do it for like, you know, like 4th of July, Halloween, you know, that kind of stuff. All right. Got all the beads on there. We're going to hold it. And then we are going to take our little rounding tool, come right up to the top. And you're going to come towards you. You got to go at it again. You know, just pinch the end and turn it. Okay. So it's going to make a little teeny hoop or little hook. I keep saying hoop. I got a hoop on the brain. So like that. And you're going to come in here again, just like that. And you're going to bend it back. So then it looks more like a, you know, a graveling hook. And then you're going to come in here again and we're going to close it up. We're going to turn just like this. I'm sorry if you hear my cats, they're being turds today. But anyways, we're going to just keep going back and forth. I'm going to go in here. We're going to bend back. And we're just going to keep going until we get this closed up because you don't want it slipping off the ring. So there we go. Got it closed. And now I'm just going to bend it back. And then you can just straighten it up. However, you know, if you got it a little crooked or, or if you feel like you need to come in here and close it just a little bit more, but not by much with your needle nose. So just like that. There you go. All right. Just trying to straighten this up a little bit. <clears throat> There's that part. Cute. Cute, cute. Oh. All right. Now you're going to get your little rings. Your little ring, not rings. Just one little ring and then you're going to open it up just like that and you're going to come up here to the top eye and you're going to slip it through and obviously once again if you want to put the lobster claw in you can if not you know just close it up and you can put as little little beads um you don't have to put a whole bunch of you know like i mean that's not a lot but like if you only wanted to do, you know, just a few, maybe like this section and this, you know, you can always trim these down. You just have to get some, um, hold on, like these clippers, these come in the set too. And it just cuts the wires. Um, mine have seen better days. So, but yeah. All right. Next, we're going to put on the little bitty charm. Like I said, these are thick, so I have to use my needle nose. So, oh, grab my other one here. Try not to make too much noise because, you know, this is a hard table and this is metal. And if you're wearing headphones, dear Lord. That's one thing I don't do. I watch my YouTube on TV. So... All right, come on, don't, I'll see if my hand's starting to shake. Oh, see, I'm not perfect by all means. I just got to get a hold, make sure you get a hold of it. And then you just, oh, come on. There we go. It is opened. You take this, slip it through this eye. Just like that. And then you close it up easy peasy and cute like i said you don't have to go to hobby lobby you don't have to go to joann's you know you just go to your local walmart and get your bracelet you can go to a thrift store and find a cute bracelet that has beads on it and you know just take it apart and put it together but i can make one more but i'm not going to do that on the video um all right guys i'm going to head out of here like I said, make sure you check my shop. Got some new patterns on there. And um, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good day. All right, bye.